Yo, what's up guys, it's Redfish here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 best glitches in Big Scary. So let's start out with number 1. But wait, before we head on to number 1, I just want to tell you for most of these glitches, or all of them, I'm going to be using the boundary glitch. If you don't know what the boundary glitch is, it's basically a glitch that tricks the game into thinking that you're somewhere, when really you're not. And make sure to stick around for later in the video because things get crazy. This is just actually broken and you can go inside of the mirror and it's really goofy. It's just kind of fun to jump around. I really like to troll up here um, when people are ever in level 4. And you can see that there is the walking house down here and the OG ghost is down there. But anyways, let's just get on to the first glitch. Okay, so the first glitch is being outside of level 1 and the lobby. And I don't know what it is about it, but it is so fun. And if you do this for some reason right now, this is just actually broken. And you can go inside of the mirror, and it's really goofy. And in level 1, it's just kind of fun to jump around. Like, bro, I'm literally doing parkour outside of the map. This is so fun. You can also find some easter eggs like this high average monkey, pretty cool. But honestly, this glitch is really fun and I actually really encourage it. Um, excuse me, like, bro, I'm trying to make a video. Bruh. But I'm not just talking about this lobby. I'm talking about the entire lobby. Oh. Even down here in the shop. And once again, for some reason, you can go under the fish tank again. For anyone that doesn't know, Shrek kind of patched you being able to get in here and in the mirror, but for some reason, they work again. So it's really fun to troll down here and get people's reactions. It's also really fun to troll inside of the mirror, which I did. Go check out that video right up there. It'll also be in the description of this video. But let me just show you guys some more things you can do outside of the lobby. If you just keep one arm inside of the map, you can come all the way down here and then take your arm out right there and be up here. Okay, dude, can my ghost just move? And then you can just jump to these lights, then parkour over here, and now you can see that the PvP thing is not loaded. And you can go into voxel horror mode. Well, kind of. For some reason, it's just complete pitch black down here. It's also pretty fun to troll in here. You can also go up in there, but you'll be trapped in there until you restart your game. So, yeah. But honestly, just getting outside of level 1 and the lobby is just really fun. I really recommend you try it. But let's just head on to glitch number 2. So for this next glitch, you're gonna need to get outside of level 4. Just like that. And now you're just gonna walk along this. What is that? Now you just want to jump onto this yellow slide, and then put one arm in, then just walk down. Bro, what is happening with Big Scary? Why is that red? And now this part is kind of difficult, because you need to keep your head inside of this little crack, you can see it. Because if you keep your head out here, you'll go inside of the map, and if you get it in here, you'll also be inside of the map. So you have gotta just go like this. You also need to keep your hand right here too. And now you just gotta go kinda slow. Okay, now this part is pretty difficult to do. But you kinda just go like this. And then you get over here. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. So now we're up here, I gotta take one of my arms out. Oh my god. Ah. Also, you might need kind of a big boundary to get outside of level 4. I don't have a huge boundary, but it's big enough to basically get outside of any map. And guys, I don't have a name for this ghost, so in the comments, if you would like, you can try to name my ghost. And whichever name I like the most, I will pick as my ghost's name. But back to the glitch. Okay, just go like this. Okay. Uh oh. Uh. Oh. Oh my god, I got my hand back in. No! 
Alright, this time I'm gonna be more careful. I think I did it. Yes! Okay, I did it. It only took 17 million tries. Bruh. So there might be easier ways to do this that I just don't know of, but this is like the only way that I know of. So you wanna jump and just get one hand in, and then I like to take it out right here, but you gotta be careful. And now we're right here, almost inside of the map. When I just get my hand in, get one, one hand in, and then you reach your arm up to here, take your hand out, and now there's this giant piece of glass, as you can see it's very thick, and now you just walk in, and now you're above the glass in level 4. Okay, now I'm gonna- uh, Perfect. Not perfect. Yikes. Anyways, let's just head right on into the third glitch. For the next one, you're gonna have to get outside of level 8. And now you just wanna waddle your way over here, right to where this crack is. It's a little bit past the safe zone. And now you just go down and reach your other hand under. Pull your head under and then take your arm through. And now you're outside of level 8. But this isn't just the glitch. No, we still have more. If you do a light jump off of here, something crazy will happen. It's me, <laughs> Pumpkin the Pumpkin. Bruh. Find some candy for me. Bro, I'ma eat your candy! <laughs> but now you can see, we are outside of level 9. And it's really goofy, I don't know why this is out here. Bruh. But if you want to take things a step further, you're gonna need to go to the exit outside of the map. Now when you're at the end of level 9, you just want to walk down like this. Make sure you don't go into the end. You'll just walk like this. And then walk a little bit very carefully because you can still get in into the pumpkin. Then just jump right here and you'll be under level 9. And now you can just jump, you know, wall run and then jump in and you're under level 9. But if you want to take things a step further again, you're gonna have to get outside of under level 9. And the way to do this is actually kind of difficult. Huh, huh. Parkour, let's go. Now if you've done all of these steps correctly, you should turn, I'll adjust the brightness here. And you can see that there is the walking house down here and the OG ghost is down there. Yeah, for some reason these are just down here. Uh, they don't do anything. And that's all for the third glitch, so let's just head right on into the fourth. For the third glitch, you're gonna have to go to level 11. And now you're gonna wanna have turn on, so you can turn this to make it so that the furthest point away from you in your boundary is facing this wall. And now when it is, you're gonna walk all the way to like back here, and then you're gonna walk a little bit further. And now you're just gonna die by the monster. It says Bula! Oh. There we go. If you do everything correctly, you should be outside of level 11. Now you just kind of make sure that the monster's not near you. Then you can walk this way. I also don't think that you have to do it this way, but this is just how I do it. I get to here. Alright, now you come over here, and then you take your arm out, put your other hand right here so it's still outside of the map. And now you gotta do a kind of risky jump. You just jump up and put your hand right on the very top like this if you don't put your hand on the top like let's say you put it like over there it'll get stuck inside of the map and you don't want that to happen uh oh hasbula no bad hasbula and now you can jump to right over here and now you're really outside of the map now you can explore around here but i am going to do something risky I'm going to jump to on top of level 12. Alright guys, wish me luck. <sighs> oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. So you can do that if you want. I messed it up, but yeah, you can do it. And for the fifth and final glitch, you're gonna need to beat level 16 to do this glitch. So now once you've beaten level 16 and you're at this train, you're gonna do the boundary glitch so you can get outside of the train while it's going by. Once you've got the boundary glitch set up, you just wanna walk into it. And you should be outside. Please. 
And this is just crazy. There's so the much stuff to see from game. One of the funnest and most game breaking things is that when this happens, so you have this whole wall here, the vertical of it. Oh, and it's so broken. Like, what even is this? We're currently outside of level 16. Like, look, what what is this? And then there's like a little room back here and a little thing you can walk on. It's so weird. And then you can just get outside and then you can walk over here. And you can see that sadly, there's no level 17 down here. But this is so weird. We have this train right here and then that train over there. But I think I know what's going on. When you go into this train, it acts as a loading zone for this train. So as soon as you enter that train, it teleports you to this train, which takes you through the section. And this one is kind of just there to teleport you. And that's why, if you don't go in the train and you go over there, you go to that room instead of walking through this entire section. But I don't know if that's true, that's just my theory. Anyways, anti-soft lock! Alrighty, well that's gonna be it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to try out all these glitches, this was really fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye. Also, I'm gonna be going live tomorrow. I'm gonna be starting at 4.30pm EST. And who knows when I'll end, maybe I'll go all night. Pr probably not. Bruh. But hopefully you guys can join the stream and I can meet some of you guys. But that's just all I wanted to say, and hopefully I'll see you guys there.